What's going on, folks? So that's our article in their interview of, you know, Obama talking to black men. And again, we keep using black men as a scapegoat. I'm telling you, I don't support any party. I don't care if it's Republican, Democrats that try to separate black men and black women. I do not support it. And notice that our unity, us coming together, will make the world shake. But there's an article uh, the New York Times put out there. Obama's um, admonishing tone to black men presents a risk for Democrats. So uh, Obama was basically, you know, making a statement out there when he was talking to black men. And he spoke Thursday to a room of uh, black supporters campaign field in Pittsburgh. And he acknowledged some uncomfortable truths that he, according to him and you know speaking to the brothers so to speak even though he's not a black american he says you're coming up with all kinds of reasons and excuses i've got a problem with that because part of it makes me think listen to those words part of it makes me think that's a him thing he says i'm speaking them indirectly part of me think that well you just aren't feeling the idea of having a woman as president and you're coming up with all other alternatives and reasons for that. What's fascinating about that statement is that a lot of black men and black women out there saying that they've heard uh, Kamala Harris's response to her. What is she going to do specifically for black people? And she said she's not going to do anything for black people. Um, she said if she does, it's going to have to benefit everybody. is isn't just going to be something exclusively for um, black Americans, but in the same t uh, type of topics, she's saying that you know people should vote for her because of her having being of color, uh, and and that should you know get the black American vote. That's not going to occur. Um, a lot of people are not going to just fall for what Obama did back in the day. Of you know he was really a sharp guy. I uh, had a lot of great speeches and a lot of people were pretty much voting off of put the potential of what he was specifically would do for us because he did a lot of different things for, for various folks, but he didn't do anything for us. So I just found it interesting that they're pulling him out of, um, you know, out of hibernation, so to speak, to come out and talk to black men like they are children. Like they are, uh, you know, you're lecturing. You're hearing so many black women saying, yeah, these black men need to get it together. And I would just say to myself, would black women be OK if this was how black men were speaking in regards to black women? Would it be the same situation? Would it be the same response? Would it be the same talking down to someone and expecting that to inspire them or make them vote the same way that they're going to vote? Everyone has a right to vote and everyone has a right not to vote. They don't have to always vote Democratic and they don't always have to vote Republican. They need to vote for the best option that works for them. And all you're seeing is voting built bullying. You just see them vote bullying out there uh, and they're making us the scapegoat out there. At the end of the day, I think that if you are deciding to vote, you need to think about the policies. You need to think about uh, foreign policy, economics. You need to think about uh, various things in regards to rising grocery prices, uh, rising health costs, rising, uh, you know, school tuition, uh, housing and all those different elements and make the best decision for you and your family. Um, we don't have to vote as a team. Um, we look at various communities and they don't always vote the same. So for us, for them to come to us, and even with that being said of people saying that she, you know, a lot of black men are voting, you know, the other other way, there's a lot of black men that are always going to vote Democratic and they'll be in the upper 80 percent in voting for the Democratic side. It don't matter if we vote 100 uh, percent, black women vote 100 percent or black men vote 100 percent. It will be the non-black vote that's actually going to get uh, Kamala Harris or Trump in the White House. So, again, I'm tired of Trump, um, Obama and, and all these other folks are talking down to black men, trying to put a black man versus the black women. Um, anyone that does that, in my opinion, is a threat 
uh, to our, our unity. And they said divide and conquer. So again, this party, Democratic Party, has no issue uplifting black women, but they also have no issue at the same time demonizing and talking down to black men. And it's not going to galvanize uh, these men out there that are undecided uh, to potentially, uh, you know, stick with the Democratic side or potentially go the Republican side or not vote at all. You can't shame someone into voting. People are going to vote the same way they they want to vote. And someone that's voting, whether they be voting for Kamala Harris, just focus on your vote. Stop focus on somebody else's paper like you're taking a test. Stop focus on what somebody else put on their test and focus on if you want to vote for Kamala Harris or Trump. It is your choice. You voting for Kamala Harris don't make you more black and you voting for Trump does not make you, um, you know, an Oreo or whatever uh, disgusting term that they want to use to call someone for having a difference of opinion. One thing I notice out there is that once somebody's losing a debate in, in regards to you, you having a respectful debate or disagreement. Once they start name calling, uh, it's, it's already over. And then another interesting thing is they're saying black men are sexist. Then why are these black men have black supervisors, black women supervisors, right? How are these black women um, or black men, uh, you know, dealing with working for uh, a black woman CEO, right? Or or black uh, woman director or so to speak. It's not about a uh, black woman or a woman of, or a woman of color. Uh, running the country has no issue with if, whoever it is in office. It's all about do those policies. Um, is there something that you stand for or believe in or value? Um, none of these men are sexist in that regard.